In this video, we are going to learn how to solve equations by matrix method. Let's take a start. Here we can see two equation is given 3x plus 5y is equal to 21 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 13. We have to solve this to solve means we have to find out the value of x by using matrix method. Here given equation. Here given equations are two equations are given here 3x plus 5y is equal to 21 this equation one you can write and second equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 equation 2 after this we have to write this two equation in matrix form so we can write here writing these equations in matrix form we have to write these equations in matrix form now look at here how to write on in matrix form what is the coefficient of x 3 so we have to write 3 what is the coefficient of y 5 so we have to write on 5 okay now this side what is the coefficient of x 2 so we have to write 2 what is the coefficient of y 3 so we have to write here 3 and here we have to write down x y equal equal so we have to write down equal and after equal here is 21 here is 13 so we have to write here 21 and here is 13 this is matrix form look at here when you multiply these two we get these equations 3 into x 3x 5 into y 5y is equal to 21 is equal to 21 again 2 into x 2x 3 into y 3y is equal to 13 is equal to 13 this is in the form of matrix or we can write a x is equal to b this is a x is equal to b where what is the value of a here a is, a is equal to 3 5 2 3 and the value of x is equal to x y and what is the value of b here b is equal to 21 13 21 13 we have to write okay hope you understand up to here after this we have to find out determinant a either we have to check this is singular or non-singular matrix so find out the determinant a we have to write down all the elements inside vertical bracket 3 5 2 3 we have to write inside vertical line without changing their places now we have to multiply the main diagonal leading diagonal 3 into 3 3 into 3 minus 2 into 5 non diagonal 2 into 5 3 into 3 9 minus 10 is equal to minus 1 which is not equal to 0 if determinant is equal to 0 then we cannot find out the value of x and y it doesn't give unique solution we cannot find out the value of x and y if we get here zero therefore the given equation the given equation have unique solution the given equation have unique solution now we have ax is equal to b then x is equal to what x is equal to a inverse b how this came i will describe you here look at no need to copy this one ax is equal to b multiply both side by a inverse so what we get here a inverse a x is equal to a inverse b okay up to here this a and a inverse cancelled so what is remaining x is equal to a inverse b a inverse means 1 by a 1 by a like a inverse a a inverse means what 1 by a into a this and this cancel so what is here 1 1 into x means x you can write on directly now so we get here x is equal to a inverse b what is the value of x x means x y so we have to write here x y a inverse mm, on the previous video i taught you how to find out inverse complete problem definition and process of finding a inverse i finished in part 5 of matrix video 
to find out a inverse what we have to write 1 by determinant a and we have to interchange this to main diagonal and non diagonal we have to change the sign or we have to multiply by minus you have to understand this and this we have to change both three so it doesn't matter and non diagonal we have to multiply by minus or we have to change the sign if positive 2 we have to write negative positive 5 we have to write negative 5 and what is the value of b b is equal to we have 21 13 so 21 13 hope you understand this one properly x is equal to a inverse b a inverse formula means we have 1 by determinant a and we have to change the main diagonal main diagonal leading diagonal we have to change the elements of leading diagonal and non diagonal we have to multiply by minus so minus 2 minus 5 after this 1 by determinant a determinant a is equal to what we got here minus 1 so we have to write here minus 1 and after this we have to multiply this to matrix 3 into 21 we have to write 3 into 21 minus 5 into 13 minus 5 into 13 similarly minus 2 into 21 minus 2 into 21 plus 3 into 13 plus 3 into 13 first row first column second row second column here minus 1 1 by 1 means minus 1 now 3 into 21 now we have to calculate this 63 minus 5 into 13 means 65 yes after that minus 2 into 21 means minus 42 plus 3 into 13 means 39 after this minus 1 and when you subtract this 2 we get minus 2 here when you minus plus minus we have to subtract and when you subtract we get minus 3 now multiply by minus 1 we get 2 and 3 so the value of x y this value of x y is equal to 2 and 3 so what is the value of x x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 now this is the answer of x and y by using matrix method but your answer is correct or not how to check your answer is correct or not then you have to put the value this value of x we got 2 and 3 you have to put the value of x here and y here let's check either our answer is correct or not what is the value of x what we got here 2 and y is equal to we got here 3 let's check from equation 1 put the value of x and y here 3 into in the place of x we have to write 2 plus 5 into in the place of y we have to write 3 is equal to 21 is here okay 3 2 is a 6 plus 5 3 is a 15 is equal to 21 and when you add this 2 we get 21 is equal to 21 it means both side correct so our answer is correct similarly for second equation also you can check you can put the value of x 2 and you can put the value of y 3 3 into 3 9 and when you put here 2 2 2 is a 4 9 plus 4 30 so our answer is 100 percent correct so you can check your answer in this way uh, if you understand this video please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please consider subscribe and share with your friends and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will get the notification of upcoming videos keep supporting have a great day